so-called experts who said we had no chance of winning the primary. It will be hard work, but we can win. And if those same people who fought against me work just as hard for me, we will win. The common sense men and women of Delaware are tired of the same old coming out of Washington. They don't want more of the same. Well, we are not more of the same. <laughs> so hold on to your hats, folks, because we're in for a fight. And we're Delaware, That's right. That's right. And everyone's already asking how we're going to get along tomorrow. And I say, the greater good. Look to the greater good. We have to unite for the greater good of what is right in America. And a united party, a united we the people, can win back our country. We don't have to wait till return day to bury the hatchet. So I'm counting on all of you, on everyday Americans, to help us win through the general. We won this with just a tenth of what my opponent raised, just a tenth. So we need more. <laughs> we need a lot more than that. We might only still take a tenth of what my opponent has. But if everybody who's watching, everyone who's listening, goes to christine2010.com and makes a contribution right now, we'll have the support we need to hit the ground running tomorrow morning. And let me remind everyone, people, the other thing that the so-called experts are talking about is the low vote number in Delaware. Well, that is true. It's a strategic advantage we have. So a $100 contribution is like making a $1,000 contribution elsewhere. So we're counting on you guys to help us win this, because win this we must. And I believe we can. Yes. <laughs> So again, <laughs> you betcha. <laughs> There's another woman I got to thank. You betcha. <laughs> thank you, Governor Palin, for your endorsement. Because she got behind. She got behind us war-weary folks and gave us a boost of encouragement when we needed it. And she was a vote against the politics of personal destruction. So as we go forward, I'd like to make the focus of this election about the issues. How we're going to get jobs back in Delaware. How we're going to protect the security of our homeland. How we're going to take care of our veterans. How we're going to make sure that future generations are not saddled with a crippling debt. So I'm hoping that that can be the focus of the, the general election, and we're going to be continuing to roll out our solutions and our proposals for what we want to do when I get to Washington the day after Election Day. <laughs> for those of you who might not know, because this is a special election for the seat once held by Joe Biden, the winner can be sworn in the day after Election Day. And when we, the people, speak again in November, we're going to make sure that that possibility comes a reality. And I'll be serving in that lame duck session. So let me close with some words of wisdom from Thomas Jefferson. When the people feel the government, when the people fear the government, there is tyranny. When the government fears the people, there is liberty. I wish you could see what I see. Thank you. We stand for liberty. Everyone in this room stands for liberty. And we can do this. We can win in November. So thank you for standing with me and standing with liberty up till now. And thank you for continuing to stand with me in November. God bless you. <laughs>